Hello, this is another note on the use of XY GRIB. In this case, we'll be looking at ocean currents with the RTOFS model. Now, in the normal, um, okay, so if we, if we went up here and selected an area, say here, and then looked here, you won't find they don't have RTOFS. So they don't, they don't have a way to get ocean currents directly from here. But if you look over here, they do have a C currents. So they know it's programmed how to show the currents. We just have to get the file from, we just have to get the data from somewhere else. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to uh, get it from sale docs. And so we write to sale, and there's a note, and I'll put a link to a note with some more details on this. But you write to query, um, and I've written them before, and then Here's what we want to get, and I usually just put, I put it in the subject as well. And this is just the query that's going to get us the, uh, the RTOFS currents, and I'm going to send that off now, and uh, then we'll come back and see. So we're looking at this currents. I, I often like to look at the currents in sort of this area right here, because there's usually eddies. A lot of important eddies develop in this area here. Uh, I, I don't know exactly why, but so we're gonna that's the area we're gonna look at and then I want to also show some of the other features uh, Let's just see if this is uh, here uh, Inbox um, Okay, I don't see that it's come that quick. All right. Well, let me um, Let me just pause and then come back. I don't want to wait on the line here. So I'm gonna pause Back. In fact, it took, and I was only maybe 10 or 15 seconds pause there. I'm a little bit spoiled. I usually do this on a different email program, and Gmail is just a slightly bit slower. So I'm going to then, so that returned the file to me by email. And then I go down, and here is the file right here. And let's see, do I have to push down this download button? And then where do I want to put it? I could put it in my... Uh, Let's see, I'll just put it in my downloads. Actually, there's a place I want to put it here. Uh, I want to put it uh, in here, in here, and then grib files for a currents comparison. I want to put it there. So you see, I'm going to just put that right there. Uh, okay, so that's how we got the data. And it took a couple, now look, that's eight, how big, oh. Okay, so just a minute. That's 6.3 megabytes. Now that's way bigger than you can do when you're underway. But I took about eight days of this, or let's look at the command here. Um, you see uh, um, RTOFS, yeah, see I took it out 144 hours, that's six days. Now you just, you just don't need it that uh, you do need that resolution though you need the very best resolution they've got 0.08 degrees but you don't need to go that far at a time you could just go a couple days a couple days is enough for the planning unless you're doing routing and that's something we'll come to later okay so we've got the data now here's then the uh, this program so I want to go up here and load the one that we just saved so I go here and here's the two grib files that were there and it came right to this folder because I was there last and uh, so it doesn't matter what doesn't matter which one I load to make this point here okay so now it's displayed here and let's see have I done anything special uh, no, I haven't done anything special. See, I haven't shut these things off over here. And over here on the right is where you read the current up this right in here. So you see, and this has a, this has a, let's see, a command. I'm on a Mac and I can, see, you can always go to the hand and move it. Or if you're in the box or if you're somewhere else, you know, you can hold the, hold the command button down and move it. And that may work with a control on a PC. But this has a, these show a proportional area, proportional arrow. There's a pretty nice display, a pretty nice display of the currents here. Now, uh, notice that if you go up here to weather map, these are the ones where there's a color overlay like a color overlay, like we like one of these. This is question mark. I don't know what the color, because there is none up here for, the, for this. So there is none there. And under C, there's none as well. 
And so uh, you just, oh, and so C, you got current arrows. Oh, what's a current map? Ah, well, live and learn. Push the buttons. That's what I got to do. Color map. That's where you get it. Look at that. It's quite beautiful. Current arrows, color map, current arrows on grib grid. Uh, no, okay. So that's showing you this 0 0.8. 0 0.08 is a pretty, pretty high resolution, 0.08 degrees and that's just showing you where they have real data when you want to start studying these eddies to look in here you know at, at something like that and so but generally that is uh, uh, current on grid that's too much resolution so uh, we can look at something like that so you see here is this now look at that current that's 0 0.7 0 0.9 knots there and you can just again right click and say medio table and here with the medio table one thing I did do is I went into options and I shut off all the things that you can look in that medio table I shut them all off but current and then that makes that look a little bit nicer now there is at that one spot you can watch the current and look at it's peaking out well it's, it's pretty strong um, it gets up to like 1.1 knots there. And again, you can step through to see how these eddies, let me go back a little bit here and see if we see any eddy motion here. You can step through this and watch the, uh, you know, watch the flow. This is something that is not been known till modern times, uh, but there's, there's these strong eddies of current floating around a wild kind of loose cannon eddies of current that can be as much as a knot, easily a knot, sometimes more. They'll be out there going across the ocean and none of your books are going to tell you about it. The coast pilot won't, the, uh, the pilot charts, sailing directions. They just won't have it because it's kind of intermittent. But it's there and it's real and these days people can measure that uh, with uh, satellites. Uh, satellites can measure the, the motion of the water, the temperature of the water, and the height of the surface. That's one of the driving factors, plus the wind. Then they compute the wind with a global model, and the wind drives this along with the height of the water and so forth. So anyway, so you have in, in the XY grip here a, a really beautiful display of the ocean currents, but you just have to just grab the data from sail docks as shown.